Welcome to this tutorial where you will learn how to automate an ETL process using Python. This tutorial is ideal for those who want to manage their data more efficiently and automate repetitive tasks. Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial on automating ETL process with Python. ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load and it's a crucial process in data management. Today you will learn how to automate this using Python, making your data handling more efficient and less time consuming. In this tutorial, we will work with a sample sales data CSV file. The source of data is uh, the CSV uh, data. So the goal is to extract the data from the CSV, transform it by cleaning and calculating additional matrices, and finally load it into a CSV file. Let's go on. First, let's set up the development environment. We will be using Python for this tutorial. If you haven't installed Python yet, install from python.org website. And you can also install pandas for data manipulation and schedule for automation. So you can use pip install pandas and schedule on terminal. Now let's start writing our ETL script. I will create a new Python file called ETL process. So the script is going to be written inside this file. So the first step in the ETL process is extract data. So we may have different sources of data and we are going to extract the data from the sources and transform it and load into the uh, structured format. So in my case, I'm going to use the CSV files and I'm going to extract the data from CSV files. Uh, so the first step in the ETL process is extracting data. This means reading data from a source. So in, in my case, the source of the data is CSV. So you may have different sources of data, uh, either website or any other sources. So uh, you can uh, extract or read the data from the sources. Right. So let's create a Python function to read data from a CSV file using the pandas. So the, first of all, you need to import necessary libraries, for example, pandas as pd. So this pandas uh, is used to read the CSV files. And also, uh, if you want to just log the error messages or success messages in the log file, you can use the logging library to import the logging and now let's set up the logging logging dots basic config and you can configure the login logging dots info that gives you uh, an information either success or killer messages and there's a logger that's logging to get logger right now next let's define the function that's going to extract the data from uh, the csv file extract data. This function takes the, the path of the file that contains the CSV file and the CSV file is created in your directory and you are going to just uh, read that CSV file using pandas extract from CSV file. So you can use the I accept condition. This helps us to catch errors. So dev pd.read CSV file path and here logger.info and save the if the data is extracted successfully so the accept condition in as e and we store now here it's going to return the data frame if there is error catch it in the exception handling and it's going to log that error message that help us to figure out the errors this rise there all right, I just finished defining the function that's going to extract the data from the CSV file by reading that CSV file using the pandas library. And so the source of uh, data in my case is CSV. And the next step is uh, going to transform that uh, data. Next, you need to transform the data. This involves cleaning, modifying the data and adding new columns to fit your needs. For example, calculate the total price for each sale because I have the sales data in this case. 
and change the data types or removing any missing values, if any, in your uh, data. Uh, so uh, let's create a function to transform the data that is transform data. And this function is going to take the data frame as input parameter. So you can understand the attributes or the column names in your data first to uh, figure out and to transform that data in your data frame. For example, the div uh, total price. Uh, I just calculate the total price of each cell uh, by using the, the div quantity and div unit price. And also if there is order date, so we have to transform the type of the order date into appropriate date format. That is PD dot to date time DF order date. So this is what's called uh, just changing the type of the data. And uh, here, if there is any missing values, you can drop that missing values DF dot drop NA not a number, which means removing any missing values in your data that is going to transform or cleaning the data in, in, in other ways. Because uh, once the data is extracted and you are going to uh, transform that extracted data into appropriate formats by modifying, cleaning, or removing any uh, missing values in your data. And Logger is help cache the error message or any success message. So in this case, if there is a success message, if the data is successfully uh, transformed, you can store data transformation is successful. And it's going to return the data frame as a result. And the accept block caches if any errors and store the error message in a log logger dot error, error transforming data and you can pass that error into that logger, All right? And you can write that error. So the transformation of the data is uh, completed uh, by defining this transform data and catch the errors uh, if there are any errors in your transformation of the data. So the next step is loading the data. So once you extract the data and transform that data by cleaning, removing, or uh, modifying any data types or removing any uh, missing values in your data. You can load that uh, clean data into any other uh, formats, structured formats. Uh, you can load that data into databases or uh, you can load that data into uh, other CSV files or JSON files, whatever you want. So uh, in my case, I'm going to just load the transformed data into uh, another CSV files. So this is the final step that loading the data. This means that saving the transformed data uh, to the uh, destination, which uh, in this case is a new CSV file. Let's create a function to load the data into uh, a CSV file. That's called load data. So this function is going to take the data frame because the transformed uh, uh, data function uh, returns the data frame. Uh, so the clean uh, data is uh, returned as a data frame. Then the load data takes that returned uh, data frame as input parameter and the output path that's going to be uh, loaded or saved as a file. So let's try and cache uh, if there is any errors. That data frame uh, to CSV and I pass the output path and the index of that file is false by default. And let's log any files, any errors. Let's log uh, if there is uh, a success message in the log file. So uh, data loading is successful. And in the accept block, Let's cache errors, logger dot error, error loading data, and write that error. So I just uh, performed all tasks, which means ETL extract the data, transform the data, and load the data into another CSV files. So the next step is just uh, automate the ETL process by defining a new function that's uh, used to call all this uh, uh, 
functions extract data transform data and uh, load data so uh, let's define the main function that is etl this uh, main function takes uh, no parameter uh, i just called the functions i have defined uh, in the above now let's assign the input file path which is sales data dot csv and output path file and transformed data dot csv so input path file is the sales data i have uh, a sales data as you can see here and i'm going to transform and save the clean and uh, loaded data into transformed data.csv file. Now let's call the extract function and uh, pass the input file to extract that CSV data. All right. And next, let's uh, transform this extracted data by calling transform data and pass this data into uh, this transform data function. Uh, this extract data returns the data frame by reading the CSV files as a data frame. And so here, let's call data, transform data, and I pass that data. I just pass the extracted data into transform data. This data is a data frame because the extract data uh, function returns the data frame. And this transform data uh, also return the data frame by cleaning uh, and uh, performing additional matrices in uh, uh, in the transformation of that data, okay? Because this returns a data frame, all right? The final step is uh, just call the function load data. This also takes uh, the data frame and the output path that's uh, going to save the transformed data into uh, CSV files. So it takes two parameters the data frame uh, and the output path uh, file because uh, uh, this transformed uh, data returns a data frame and uh, just I call that transformed uh, data and let's uh, call load data and pass the data as a data frame and the output path. All right, now all the three functions are called inside this ETL uh, main function and uh, log any uh, success messages by calling logger.info and the data or ETL process completed successfully. All right, but you can put this uh, message, I mean, but you can put this uh, in uh, try except block. That is easy to figure out if there is any errors and that logger.error is error ETL process extract transform and load process. All right, finally, we call this function inside the entry point of the Python script, for example, if name, I have just uh, done everything by defining extract data, transform data, load data, and call all the status inside the ETL process function. And I call that ETL uh, function inside the uh, main, which means that is an entry point to the execution of the Python script. So uh, the next step is just running this script and let's uh, see that the data is transformed uh, without any errors. Python 3 called etl underscore process dot pi. Yeah, this is the log file that's uh, log messages or the information data is extracted successfully. Uh, data transformation is successful, data loading is successful, and ETL process is completed. So our uh, data is transformed uh, successfully. So we get the transformed uh, data, which uh, contains additional matrices, for example, uh, total price, and uh, the type of the order that is changed. Uh, and if there is any additional uh, missing values that missing values are uh, removed from that uh, original data so this is what uh, uh, ETL uh, means now let's uh, just make any mistakes by missing something here and let's run our code to check that the error message is logged so the log message that 
the data is extracted successfully, all right? Uh, but in the transforming uh, data, there is an error that uh, quanti there is uh, missing something in this case and also error ETL process failed because of this uh, error. So uh, I just correct these mistakes in this in the transformed data and I run again and the success log message is. So that's it for today's tutorial on automating an ETL process with Python. I have covered how to extract data, how to transform uh, data and load the data into uh, another CSV file. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more content. As next step is you can try adding more complex transformations or loading data into other formats like JSON or load the data into uh, databases using uh, SQL Alchemy. If you uh, want to uh, make another uh, videos how to transform or load the data into a database, you can uh, write comments in the comment section of this video tutorial. Thanks for watching today.